I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring relations, functions, domain range, and some other characteristics. Here is part D of the question which we started with. The question is, determine whether each relation is a function or not and list their characteristics including domain and range and behavior, increasing, decreasing interval, symmetry, etc. Part D. The function is 2x squared plus 12x minus 1. As you can see, it is a quadratic function represented by parabola on the graph. Now, it is a function since for any value of x will have only unique values of f of x. Now, how to find domain range? As far as domain is concerned, it is clear domain is all real numbers, right? So we know domain is x belongs to real numbers. How about range? To find the range, we need to find the vertex. We know it opens upwards. So once we know the vertex, then we can actually write down the range. Now, vertex could be found by completing squares. So now, I hope you can go through steps for completing squares to find vertex, right? So, here are the steps. This will be a good review for you. We'll take 2 as a common factor from these two terms. So, we get x squared plus 6x. Keep this one away. Now we do half of 6. Half of 6, you know, is 3. So we'll add and subtract 3 square. Now, first three terms inside the bracket are perfect squares. So they form perfect square. Let me use a square bracket since we are using two types of brackets here. x plus 3 whole square is first three terms a square plus 2ab plus b square right so that is how you get this minus 3 square is minus 9 minus 1 we can open this bracket so we get 2 times x plus 3 whole square minus 18 minus 1 or we get 2 times x plus 3 whole square minus 19 so that means the vertex is at x value is minus 3, y value is minus 19. So what we have here is a parabola which opens upwards like this, right? Whose vertex is at minus 3, minus 19. Now from here, we can easily write down the range of the function, correct? So let me uh, write down the characteristics on the right side range for us will be y belongs to real numbers so that y is greater than or equal to minus 19 right so that is how we can get domain and range of a quadratic function written in standard form now let's look into the other characteristics and behavior so end behavior is when x approaches negative or positive infinity what happens to y so when x approaches negative infinity y approaches positive infinity in both cases uh, the parabola opens upwards and therefore y approaches positive infinity correct so that is the end behavior increasing and decreasing the function increases we can write decreasing first Okay, decreasing in the interval from minus infinity to x equals to minus 3, right? And increasing from minus 3 to infinity. That is increasing and decreasing interval. It does not have any particular symmetry. When we say symmetry, we are trying to figure out whether it is it has odd symmetry or even symmetry but here we know axis of symmetry is x equals to minus 3 right so that is the axis of symmetry but it is not even or odd function so it is neither even nor odd function 
since for even function x of symmetry should be y axis x equals to 0 not minus 3 right so these are a few characteristics which we can write about this particular function important thing to review is how to do completing the squares to find the vertex so if you are a beginner for this course on advanced functions i like to i like you to remind that you can look into a few examples where we have dealt with completing the squares to find vertex that should help thank you and all the best